UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT, problem solved. In these biotech research laboratories at the University of Washington, Scientists are working to design new versions of the miniature machines that carry out nearly all the important functions of living things, proteins. You've probably heard of uh, DNA and genomes. That's, those are the blueprints, the instructions. Uh, but what, they, what they're the instructions for is making proteins, and proteins go and do all the work. Proteins regulate the electric currents in our brains. They metabolize the food we eat. They build up our muscles. They can both cause and cure diseases. These researchers are working at the level of nanotechnology, the science of the very, very small, in order to find the solutions to big problems. One of those problems is called drug delivery. Most drugs that you take are considered small molecules. They're really tiny, and they can diffuse almost anywhere in the body. The type of drugs that we're looking to deliver are um, the next stage of drugs. So these are larger drugs like proteins or nucleic acids or even peptides. Um, these are too big to freely diffuse in your body. Um, so we're trying to design carriers that can help them get uh, where they need to go. Professor Pan and her team are essentially designing transportation systems inside the body. And one of the main focuses of our lab is delivering materials to the nervous system. It's actually considered largely an undruggable target. So you'll see that a lot of the diseases like um, Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or injury to the brain or spinal cord, there's really no treatment for them right now. What we're trying to do is to take some of these materials and to be able to get them into the brain or spinal cord so that we can start getting drugs there and see if we can treat these diseases. The students here work with high-tech imaging systems, identifying proteins with fluorescent markers to follow their progress. They have fluorescently tagged our material and they're looking at it under a fluorescent microscope. That magnifies the cell so you can see it, and the fluorophore tag allows you to track where, where it's going. Professor Pan is quick to point out that a cure for some of the diseases she is trying to target is still 5, 10, 15 years or more away. But the results of this research will spur others to work even faster. And we're just working in small animal models at this point. Um, but what we hope is if we generate you know, really exciting data, which we'll find out in the next year or so, that if we can get pharmaceutical industries interested, that they'll be able to pick it up and make it go much more quickly than we ever could. So there are all these problems that the world faces, and just in the same way that biology solved the problems it faced uh, by evolving better proteins during evolution, our hope is to be able to create new proteins that will solve some of the 21st century problems. Engineering proteins to boldly go where no protein has gone before is not science fiction. It's real. And the work needed to make it happen is going on right now inside the Molecular Engineering and Science Building on the University of Washington campus.